Brightest blessings, everyone. Psychic medium Elizabeth Grove, the Paranormal Priestess. Welcome to the Paranormal Priestess YouTube channel, straight from the spirit chair every Sunday. And thank you so much for being here. If you are new to the channel, I'm really glad that you stopped by. Maybe there's something here that's going to help you with your path, help you to receive the confirmation you've been looking for, help you to have the tools to transform and if so, then I am so glad about that. My name is Elizabeth, as I said. I'm a divine channeler, a medium, a spirit extractor specialist, and I also happen to be a divine twin flame on the path to reunion. It's been quite a journey for me. I've been through ups and downs and everywhere in between, and I've got to really learn about myself. I've got to really understand so much about what has been holding me back. I've been really being a been able to step in my power step into my power and understand that all of this journey has been really valuable in so many ways and we're going to get into that. Um, today's messages actually are from myself. <laughs> They're from my own higher self and these messages are meant to go out to the divine feminine collective so if you do identify with being a divine feminine um, on the twin flame journey then these messages are especially for you and well um, I didn't want to actually write any of this down I wanted it to come straight from the heart straight from my my soul uh, from my 5d self or beyond um, and really just speak directly to all of you who are feeling like they're in a kind of a strange place right now with with the journey um, some of the things coming up, honestly, are really exciting. They are really exciting. Um, and if you're having a hard time seeing that, if you feel like this journey has been a long drag through the mud without showing any results, then there are others like you who are feeling this, but you're, you're not recognizing the truth and, and the absolute miracles that are opening up right now and all the divine support that is unfolding this journey to, with divine intelligence and timing um, unfolding it perfectly and this journey is truthfully going into the manifested reality into the physicality of things um, what my higher self wants to bring through to the Divine Feminine, especially right now, is that it's going to really be helpful for you to focus on abundance for yourself and to really be patient. Be patient with not only your Divine Masculine, which really is important, but to be patient with yourself and what you're going through right now and, and what you're trying to create for yourself. Abundance is coming through strongly since the Lion's Gate portal on 8-8. And there is this sense now for the Divine Feminine that they truthfully want to be in that powerful place of creation, creative energies, and be able to create things like prosperity, health, joy, anything and everything that's going to really sustain one, oneself and to really bring a fulfilling life. And some of the feminine out there are feeling that some that you know I I kind of put a wall up to my divine masculine and I've been on this journey for so long and I've been trying my best to hold steady and keep the faith only to be let down have a lot of disappointments and it doesn't really seem like from what I'm gathering in the physical that the divine masculine is making any type of progress uh, none that I can detect and because of that, I, I am frustrated with this journey. I really don't want anything to do with it any longer. And I am to live a better life if I am to break away from this journey and just keep moving on and be my powerful self. I'm not here to tell you what to do or how to live by any means. Um, that would not be the divine thing to do. And of course, I'm, I'm coming from the divine standpoint. Um, but a lot of feminine are feeling that, and what my higher self really wanted to re relay to you is that the journey has not been a waste in any way, shape, or form. No matter how long you've been on it, if you've been aware for a year, two years, 
five years, seven years, ten years and more. Um, it's not about that. It truly is about the unfolding of you and you being able to release, heal, transform from all the traumas, all the beliefs, all the stories, anything and everything that society has put on you, the media has put on you, your parents have put on you. Um, you know, understanding that the conditioning was so much of what was limiting you from stepping into your true self. And so everything that your counterpart part has brought into your life, it really has been so valuable. It really has, it, it woke you up. It woke you up to yourself. It woke you up to things that, that were limiting you. And that was the hard part. The hard part was really having to deal with all of that, dealing with yourself. And I want to stress so much that the Twin Flame journey or the Beloved journey is all about being able to step into your higher alignment. I know there's a lot of videos out there. I know there's a lot of information out there. I know there's a lot of card readings out there. I know there's a lot of webinars out there. And at this point, and actually really I would say at any point, it really is best to to really just understand what you're feeling and to connect with what you're feeling connect with yourself connect with the truth that truth being within you so i do think it's wonderful to be able to get support from others of course i do feel it's great to reach out for assistance when you're guided um, but for those who have been on the journey, especially for a while, um, so many of you I know are frustrated and are very confused and keep on reading, getting forecasts and getting readings and looking for answers and looking for answers and looking for answers and looking for hope. But truthfully, when you take all of that and you, you put it aside, it really comes down to your inner experiences and the things that you've learned about yourself and how you were able to get through those things and really step into the self-love and the self-empowerment. It, it, it's so important. It's about your inner experiences, your inner journey. Um, when I woke up to this journey years ago, there was no information, hardly any, I would say, on Twin Flames. There certainly, there were no videos or anything on it. And so, yeah, it was confusing, but with the upside is that I, I didn't have the confusion and the distraction of all the information out there and, and some of it not so good, some of it romanticizing this journey. Um, I've been hearing about those who are on YouTube and they're pulling their videos, pulling the channel, um, giving up on the Twin Flame journey, changing their whole entire opinion, putting information out there that's fear-based. And it's, it, it, wow, it just eludes me, you know. Um, it really does come down to feminine to really Take in what's going on with yourself and really understand that the key, the true key, and it's not, and it's, you don't need anything special. You don't need to purchase anything special or anything like that. And I'm not doing these videos, you know, that I'm trying to push you guys to get services from me in any way. I'm here authentically helping from, you know, a place of integrity and truth that I'm on this journey just like you. And if you're guided, you know to for services with me then then that's great and I'm really excited about helping you if my team says yes and I is good to help uh, I have been known to turn some people away because it's not in the highest good so it's not about collecting a payment like that um, I do my give my services the truth but I'm not here to push any services on you saying that you need special things you need special books you need special webinars you need special uh, anything you know in order to be successful on this journey can some of these things support some people yes but ultimately feminines you've come so far you've learned so much it really truthfully is about soul searching about healing the past long past this past it truthfully is about realizing that so many of your aspects that perhaps you felt like you were disassociated with, your aspects are now being healed and being brought back to you. So if you are finding that parts of you that you thought you were done with are coming back to you, they're, they're resurfacing. It's like a whole rebirth of yourself. 
Perhaps it's the artist in you. Um, it, it could be anything. Perhaps it's the, the childlike essence within you. Um, you know, perhaps you have lost a lot of yourself through um, a lot of the trauma that you've experienced. A lot of the repression that was there, a lot of the trap memories that were there. And now you are having those aspects come back, but you're not suffering with those aspects anymore. Or you're not looking at yourself in that way anymore. You're not feeling those things any longer because you've, you've come through so much and you've healed so much. So we are gathering aspects, we're integrating all of them, and we're becoming more whole. And this wholeness attracts more wholeness. And... This is where the Twin Flame Beloved Partnership comes in. And I, I really do recommend that if you want really um, truthful and honest and um, sacred information about the Twin Flame Partnership to seek out Elizabeth Clare Prophet's work, uh, her and, and Mark Prophet. And they were around in the 70s. They were talking about Twin Flames. They were sharing this, this holy sacred dynamic they shared about the violet flame and how this has been dispensed to humanity to transmute karma from lifetimes and they really brought out the sacred union of this and really brought out about wholeness and how we are becoming whole again um you know alignment and it's so important to bring us back to that when there's so much confusion some of you from what my higher self was letting me know want to walk away from this path that you've had it and i'm not here to try to con push you or absolutely convince you that you have to do anything but to really just go inside reach inside and ask yourself about what you've learned so far okay and i know some so many of you have gone through a lot of pain and i know because i'm authentically on this path but ask yourself through this pain and everything what's what emerged out of that pain? What were the gifts there? And with, and with those gifts, how did that change you? How did that transform you? So although having your beloved show up in your life and having you become aware and having these feelings be being uh, invoked within you and having this passion and then having your beloved trigger up so many of your fears, your doubts about yourself and bringing up past memories and traumas and things, Although that's caused so much pain and there's been a lot of pushing and pulling and, and running and chasing, how has that helped you to renew yourself? How has that helped you to, to move forward and, and to not be the same person any longer? And then ask yourself, well, what was this journey worth? And, you know, what, what, what is the point of this journey? And was it a waste of time? Was it truly a waste of time? Did I waste my life on this? My higher self really wants everyone to know, I know this video is raw, but I hope that this is really being taken in. My higher self wants everyone to know that you have not wasted your time whatsoever on this journey because it was so much of where you had that time where you were becoming, you were releasing, you were going through what you needed to get through, you were getting through those shadows that your twin flame helped to reflect back to you, helped you to see yourself. And that's the hard part. And yes, I know that a twin flame could come into your life when you absolutely least expect it and many times does, okay, if not every time. And, um, you know, I, I got to find out about this journey while I was still in a marriage, even though it was a catalyst, a soulmate catalyst, but this was someone who was definitely... Um, bringing in the twin flame energy for me, even though it wasn't my direct partner. But it, it, you, you would say that it was intrusive in my life and that it disrupted my life and that it ended my marriage and it ended the life that I, I felt at that time that I was happy with. That it woke me up to things that created a parting of the seas with myself and my karmic soulmate. And all of that did happen. But I got to learn so much about myself and I got to truly do the work, be the person that I was meant to be, doing the things I was meant to do and that I was meant for more. And I didn't realize that. 
but I would never change anything that I've been through, although it has been really painful, if I would have turned away, tried to turn away anyway, and said, I don't I want this path, I don't want to do this, um, things wouldn't have lasted in my connection with my former partner regardless, because this was all about my higher self planning on achieving self-mastery the intention of achieving self-mastery and the intention of achieving the greater alignment and this is all a part of the great planetary shift that we're going through so nothing has been a waste and although there's been many years of this for you for some of you um, my higher self really wants you to understand it has not been a waste um, and at this time truthfully it is about being patient with your divine masculine and if this is causing triggering if this is causing anger then it's time to go back and to understand why you're triggered by it why you're angered by the journey why you're upset about the journey and what you feel like was taken away from you when in fact the things that were taken away were things that no longer served you and it was having to go through those experiences those shadows of yourself uh, going through the dark night of the soul, having your old life fall away, which caused so much of that frustration and that anger for you. So some things to think about there. But the patience is because we are receiving so much support now, and I've been talking about this, and I'm going to keep on saying it, from all these amazing divine portals, especially now things are pushing things into the manifestation part of this. Many twin flames are wondering whether or not this journey is meant and I know my divine masculine has brought this to my attention attention too about how he had felt and it's not uncommon to feel like you're going through these experiences you're becoming aware of your beloved they're changing your lives in dramatic ways and maybe it's just meant for that and it's not meant for anything more perhaps I'm meant to just take that and bring that to another partnership. You know, many do think that. Um, what do you believe? What is your intention there? Ask yourself, tune into your heart, what did you choose? What did you choose? Despite what card reading or despite what psychic, tune into your heart and what did you choose? Tune into your heart and how do you actually authentically feel about your counterpart? How do you feel? I mean, really, tune in and, and feel that. Tune in and really just absorb what comes through. You'll get your answers there. The Divine Masculines, they have to go through what they need to go through, but know that you have been and currently are and will always be, you are an inspiration to them, and my higher self wants to express that to you, that you have been inspiring them in so many ways to make their lives better. You have been that flame for them, that torch for them. By your bravery, by you sticking to your path with, it's not just about the twin flame path. I just want people to understand that because there's so much information out there. It's so much more than that. I think people are getting caught up in seeing the little picture and the, the romanticized part about this. Um, it truthfully is about alignment in all ways. It's about unity in all ways. You being the best you and you being able to co-create with God and Goddess, with Source, a life that is fulfilling in all areas. But that cannot be done unless you are in that vibration and that frequency to bring those things in. Everything is according to frequency. Everything. And you have been that teacher for your twin, whether you believe that or not, you have been. So even though your masculines, they may be finishing up and going through the last of their old lives falling away, and they are realizing so much and they are making um, a lot of changes. Many are making physical changes. Some have not made the physical changes yet, but are in this area of understanding what it is that's going on with them, understanding what's no longer serving them, and understanding that this feminine connection is one that is of truth, of destiny, and one not to part with. One that it, you cannot part with. And they're 
getting a lot of information intuitively about themselves, about who they really are, who they were in other lifetimes, what they really represent, um, what they're here to do. And many of them have been getting information from you, whether it's telepathically or physically getting that information. And they have been really paying attention to it. They have been letting it in. Maybe not. Maybe you're not getting the physical proof of how they're feeling about it. Maybe not. Maybe you're only feel. Maybe you are only getting telepathic confirmation of it, but nothing physical. But regardless, it's happening, and soon it will be in the physical. As within, so with as above, so below. Um, so feminines, please understand that patience is going to be key here as everything unfolds. Um, and even though it might have been a long, treacherous ride for you, um, things are coming together. And it's important now that we don't focus on the struggle. That's another message here, is that we don't focus on uh, that everything that this journey is a drag this journey is nothing but struggle I only have to learn the hard way um, Through lots and lots of pain and it's important to realize that you are accepting That you are to learn so many wonderful things through joyful experiences through loving experiences through peaceful experiences and If you do have a perception of this journey as being a constant struggle then you are in a constant unrest you're in a you're in dis-ease um and, and not within your alignment not within unity um it, again it's it's all about alignment and being unified within being whole within yes you have your own wholeness and your beloved has theirs you are not half a soul you are capable of achieving that wholeness and that's what that grander point is here with this journey The patience and understanding that this journey can be harder, you can make it harder, or you can get through things and transform with more ease and with more peace. Um, you know, it's according to your perspective, it's according to your belief, it's according to all of that. So, you know, this might be the time for some of you to maybe think about that and say to yourself, okay, well, am I viewing this twin flame journey because of the things that I have not gotten in the physical reality? Um, do I view this as something that's tearing me apart, that's torturing me, that's causing me too much pain and suffering, and I need to get away from it, I need to get off of it? But my higher self is saying, how are you getting off of it? The journey is all about the self. And all it is is that your other self has reflected to you things about you that are limiting you and holding you back from creating the best in life. So you're not ru you're running away from what? You're running away from your own self. And it's important to realize that. And if we just keep on focusing on abundance right now and we focus on the beauties of this journey, um, things that we've learned, um, how we've transformed and the fact that we have been holding that torch and we have been inspiring our masculines to be better people, inspiring them to make those changes and to not be defined by their limiting beliefs and their old stories and distortions. If we can see the value in that and really embrace that, it's important. And it's also about understanding that no matter what your, your masculine may be going through right now and you know, regardless of what they're finishing up before the physicality of this dynamic, that you are supporting them and you're putting that compassion out there and understanding too that jealousy is not going to assist in any single way. And if there are jealous reactions that are happening, if your masculine is still involved in a relationship, if they're dating, if they are still within a karmic marriage and that's finishing up, um, those jealousies have a lot to tell you about where you're at with your own involvement, with your own understanding. It's very true because, you know, understanding that each and every person plays a very vital role on our path to teach us and to help us grow, that's something that the Divine Feminine, and this is my higher self really stressing this, you would want that for your masculine to go through whatever is necessary 
whatever is necessary without conditions whatever is necessary for him to be able to become aware and achieve what you have achieved then these are the blessings that we want for them no matter what that looks like again the romanticizing of this journey is just off the chain and although that romance is there although that passion is there we're going to talk about the passion in a moment um there are people who are out there who are romanticizing it so much that they're actually off the mark and they're missing the point about the self-mastery and the the becoming whole within and you know reuniting with god with source with goddess um being able to unify with all aspects of ourselves being able to unify with people being able to unify with love period um they're missing a lot of the, the bigger points which is why a lot of people fall off the wagon and they fall into fear and doubt that somehow this romantic uh partnership is just not going to happen for me um i'm alone and i'm miserable and so i better just get off this journey before it causes me any more pain which is all illusion it's all illusion because wherever you're vibrating at, wherever your frequencies are, wherever your beliefs are at, whatever you're putting out there into the universe, that is what you are going to experience. So I really uh, am receiving that putting that positive outlook on your journey there and really taking stake as to what you've learned and how you've grown and really wanting that for your counterpart no matter what that looks like. I, that, that's really going to be the key. The passion's coming up very, very strongly. My higher soul's talking about passion in a lot of ways. So the the passion for life um, is coming up strongly. The passion, the sexual passion as well, is coming up really, really strongly. The desiring factor there. And you're sexually really connecting to each other very strongly. As, as you know, this August. Um, you know, that's that's something that's coming up. And there is a... Um, sexual awakening that's going on there for sure and you know that's a telltale sign that this merge is just getting deeper and deeper and deeper and as you feel each other more as you connect are able to connect clearer um, as you're constantly having more and more of this communication go on going on and this being physical or non-physical uh, doesn't matter that's the thing um, that's really showing you how this journey is progressing and it is progressing it is and this is not to say it you know to hold on to a fantasy that's just bullshit uh, excuse my language um, this is really just taking a look at what's been happening thus far and all the changes that have been happening uh, and now it's your masculine's turn and yeah that desire is there and that desire is fueling you both he truly is desiring, he, well, I, I want to be fair about that, divine masculine could be he or she. Um, divine, the divine masculine is really reaching out for the divine feminine and really being, um, having that sacral chakra really activated, this, this sacral chakra activation. We've done a lot of the trauma clearing, a lot of that still finishing up for some people. Um, but that activation of that sacral chakra has been apparent and for you two feminine it's been apparent so that sexual energy has been on on fire there but not only that it's the creative energy too so the activation of the sacral creativity so creating everything that's going to make you feel fulfilled as we said let's see if i missed anything there's just so much emotion you know with this um but I really wanted to keep this video, this message really, really raw from my higher self. Um, the patience we talked about, the creativity we talked about, the understanding um, that we had to go through so much for, for very real reasons that has been the ways we've talked about. Um, yeah, if, if I really just had to give um, advice to the feminine out there, um, hold steady we've talked about that in the past people say i've been i've been holding steady for how long now don't give up at the end that isn't really an end it's a new beginning it's another chapter don't give up at that point you have been through a lot of things and 
now it's the turn of the Divine Masculine to go through those things. So whatever you can do to send your support over to them is really going to be a wonderful thing. That nurturing quality comes up very, very strongly now, being able to kind of take the Divine Masculine and bring them up to your chest, to your bosom, and really nurture them and say, hey, it's okay. The things that you've done, the things that you've been through, the things that you've thought about yourself. Um, I'm not judging you. I understand that you had to go through those things. I understand that these people had to come in and out of your life. I understand that you had that you have chosen a family situation and background like this for your growth. I understand that you had to run away from me because you had things coming up about yourself that you just didn't want to look at. I understand that there were words that we have exchanged in the past and fights and things that hurt really and cut the deepest that have ever cut. but. I understand it and I'm here to say it's okay I love you we're putting those things behind us and all of this has happened for higher reasons for us it's time to really look at this journey from higher points of view if you are struggling with it think about it why are you struggling if there if the struggles truly are about that you're not understanding what's coming up from your past to work with me, you're not recognizing those things, yes, but if you are struggling because you're you're not feeling that your partner is coming fast enough, or your partner's not making any progress, and that perhaps you've been wasting so much of your life and so many years, and that you're afraid that your life's gonna be continually wasted, I ask you to please meditate on that and, and contact your higher self, contact your twin's higher self, and ask. Ask about that. Because there's so much more to it that you're missing. And many times it's separation, it's the illusion of separation. Some people, they, they feel on this journey, well, I understand that we're never separated. But you may understand that you're never separated, but you're still thinking from a place of separation. You're still reacting from a place of separation rather than understanding that there is none. So that you can, someone can, talk to you about separation, you're like, oh, I understand that, and then there's no separation and twin things. But if you're reacting from a place of, I might lose my twin, or I'm not going to have my twin, or someone else is going to have my twin, and, you know, and, and you're struggling and freaking out about that, then you got to think about that. There is no separation. If you are worried that you're doing all this work on yourself, and that it's not translating to your twin, and it's not it's not getting them to turn around and do and do their own work too, then think again. You're thinking separation. My twin flame's higher self said something that I'll always remember, and that's my his victories are my victories, my victories are his victories. We share those victories because we share everything. We're energetically one unit. So with that, Divine Feminine, please understand that your light is a guiding light for them and not only has your light been a guiding light it has been doing profound things it's been making profound changes within your masculine's lives listen in to that telepathy listen in to what has changed with it and trust it trust it you're not seeing it in the physical right now well you know what a lot of the masculines are still in the hiding with this no matter where they progress with it, with their understanding and their emotions, they're still not ready to exactly come forward with it. But they will be. They will be. And some have even. So I hope that this message really penetrated and I hope that this has really served some people out there. Please listen to yourself and and know that things are there, all the pieces fit together for a reason. Embrace your journey, embrace yourself, embrace your journey, embrace your counterpart who is you in another body. Embrace that unity now. Allow that passion that's within you and between, between you to be an active creative energy that's bringing forth things like prosperity 
and health, new friendships. Allow everything that's that's beautiful from this connection that you and your beloved have, allow that to change your world. Understand that you are connected to source that is unlimited, that that flow is unlimited for you. And the higher up in vibe and frequency of love, the more you can tap into that love, the more you can see all the flows of abundance as flows of love. The more unified you become with those flows and thus things start to become effortless rather than falling into worry and falling into a place of force. This journey has done wonders for you, feminine. Think about it. Whether or not you're, you're in a physical relationship with your twin as of yet. Whether or not you chose the physical relationship, most have. But it's done wonders for you. And you are doing wonders for your beloved by being the best you. I wish you all so much abundance in your lives. And if you need to sit and you need to reflect on some things and meditate on these things, that, that hermit mode is really going to serve you very, very well right now. And remember any time that there's a crossroads in life, it's not because we are actually stuck. Consider it a crossroads where you're kind of meeting up with that Merlin figure, so to speak. And you're gathering information and you're um, gathering wisdom and this is the wisdom that's going to be necessary for you to then make other choices and then take action. So there's always a lot to learn. There's always so much transformation that goes on at the crossroads. And it's something to really think about now as we're going into the new moon as what is ushering out of our lives with the waiting room. So I don't know who really needed to hear this message, who really was falling short on their faith. Um, there's no judgment from me. These, these are just things that my higher self wanted to say directly to you to help you to go within with some things if you are struggling. Um, and hopefully help you to transform your perspective about the journey that you're on and the perspective of, you know, where your Divine Masculine's at and really just, really just think about that and, and to come to a place of acceptance and patience because everything that's coming together is going to be very synchronistic, synchronistic events, synchronistic people, um, soul connections coming in, uh, doors opening that you cannot see, uh, meetings being arranged that you couldn't possibly plan and shouldn't attempt to either, um, conversations to be had, uh, things that will come out of the blue here that will show you when the time is right why the work paid off. I'm going to leave you with that. I'm here for you guys. If you feel like you're Gaia, the paranormalpriestess.com. I'll leave all my information in my description. I'm here for readings, channel readings, if you feel like you'd like to do that. Um, I'm also here for clearing work as well. Um, I'm taking my time a little bit with that because the energies, uh, the ascension symptoms have been really rough on me, as I've, I've said before. Um, but I'm starting to take more looks at that. So I'm here if anyone feels like they want just that extra help or extra confirmation there. But remember, all that information, all the truth, all the tools, you have it already inside of you to be successful with the journey you've chosen. Brightest blessings to all of you. If you're guided to share this video, please do so. Perhaps it can help someone out there. I, I think that would be fantastic. And remember, from the heart of the darkness is born the light. I love you all. Stay strong. Stay beautiful. Stay empowered in every single way in your life. And the magic will come from that. Take care, everyone.